Bitcoin hovers around $61,000, XRP leads gains among majors. Tether mints another $1 billion USDT on the Tron network. Hong Kong issues generative AI guidelines for consumer protection. China's Supreme Court revises anti-money laundering law to include virtual assets. Floki scores major deals with English Premier League teams. Hello and a very warm welcome. I am Ruchi Sharma. Stablecoin issuer Tether has minted another 1 billion tokens on the Tron network, bringing the total USDT minted in the last year to $33 billion. On August 20th, blockchain data showed that Tether minted $1 billion in USDT tokens on the Tron network and sent them to the Tether Treasury wallet. According to the on-chain analytics platform Look on Chain, the Tether Treasury minted $33 billion in stablecoin tokens last year. The data platform said 19 billion USDT tokens were minted on the Tron network, while 14 billion tokens were created on the Ethereum blockchain. Tron currently leads the stablecoin supply market. On August 16, CoinMetrics network data showed that the network commands 37.9% of the total stablecoin market share, with over $61 billion in stablecoins in the blockchain. The Hong Kong Monetary Authority has issued guideline principles for generative artificial intelligence use in consumer-facing applications to safeguard end-users. The HKMA Hong Kong Central Banking Institution introduced reforms to its pre-existing four pillars of guidance on the use of generative AI in a circular issued to authorized institutions mainly comprised of banks. The new principles were added to the four central pillars initially introduced for big data analytics and AI in November 2019, governance and accountability, fairness, transparency and disclosure and data privacy and protection. China's Supreme Court and public prosecutor have revised their interpretation of the country's anti-money laundering law to recognize virtual asset transactions for the first time. The country adopted its existing AML law on January 1, 2007, making the latest revision its first significant update in almost two decades. In an August 19 conference, the Supreme People's Court and the Supreme People's Procuratorate said under their new interpretation of the law, virtual asset transactions are now listed as one of the recognized money laundering methods. It comes amid recent speculation on X that the country could be looking to unban crypto soon, though many are skeptical about it. Memecoin Floki will feature its Floki token and Valhalla game on various English Premier League properties as part of an initial one-year contract to help boost visibility for $1.2 billion capitalization token. The English Premier League sit on the top tier of England's football pyramid and features 20 local teams. It is the most valued football league as per sports data site transfer per market. Floki tokens will be the cryptocurrency partner for Nottingham Forest. Their upcoming game Valhalla will feature on the back of the Sunderland AFC jersey and will additionally be displayed as on-screen ads throughout all league games. The team did not reveal specific costs for the various sponsorships, citing deal confidentiality. Well, that's all in today's special bulletin. This is me, Ruchi Sharma, signing off. Do like, share and subscribe to 3.tv. And for more information stories, log on to our website www.3worldtv.io or scan the QR code.